Hi, this is Mihnia logging in from Bangkok. Welcome to another episode of Ed and Space, a vlog where I document my journey of becoming an education entrepreneur. In this episode, we are going to look at pillar number seven from simondan.com, Web 2.0 Literacy Coach, and how that translates or if it's still valid in the Ed and Space, which I'm trying to build for myself to become an education entrepreneur and a game changer in the next 5, 10, 20 years. Now, the idea of Web 2.0 Literacy Coaching came from the fact that I was actually planning to move to New Zealand to study a PhD. The PhD was supposed to be on Web 2.0 e-learning, right? So I thought that I I will be able to bring my knowledge and expertise from my PhD studies and put them in my simandan.com world and eventually be able to monetize it. Because remember the values for simandan.com have always been money making, make money. So the um, Web 2.0 Literacy Coach was planning to do workshops for schools, NGOs, Publish studies where teachers, you know, educators, graduate students would take an interest in. And the aim here was again to create a name for myself so that I can get speaking engagements, create content, drive traffic, and you know, become an expert in this in this field, right? Although I'm not sure what Web 2.0 literacy coach meant at that time, because we're already moving into education 4.0. Uh, the interaction of machines and students so it's like it's way beyond what I was planning to do anyway this pillar here was dropped when I decided to pass on the PhD that's another story for another video how I passed on for the second time and said no to a PhD program in the ed end space the study focus that translates from this educational pillar is pillar number seven same number that's quite funny because when I wrote these pillars I did not make a reference to them immediately only later on I'm doing it now so pillar number seven in the Eden space is a study focus on VR virtual reality education how much do I know about virtual reality education very very little how much am I implementing almost none right so this is a learning process for me there's a huge learning curve I've got to go through but this is a journey and this is the journey that I am sharing here I'm documenting here with you at Ed and Space my journey of becoming an education entrepreneur so I no longer want to be a web 2.0 literacy coach but I actually am interested in education 4.0 how I can be a pioneer in bringing virtual reality in education when is this going to happen? 5, 10, 20 years from now? I'm retiring in about 25 years. So there is plenty of time. But I want to be the tip of the spear when the moment is there. I want to be informed and I want to be involved and I want to have a project that I can bring into virtual education, into virtual reality, right? Actually, that's a good a play of words, virtual education. Actually, I better write this down here, VE, right, virtual education, and become known for that. That is my journey of becoming an education entrepreneur. That is my mission, and that is my vision. Will it happen? I am definitely positive that it will happen. Will it take time? Yes. Is there a huge learning curve that I have to go through? Definitely. But I am willing to put in the time, the passion, the money if it's necessary and above all bringing in again some Gary Vaynerchuk concept I have time I'm in no rush anymore I make peace with myself that time is needed to achieve something greater I'm looking at the macro level and the micro level will be implemented strategically until next time make sure you comment in the comment section below let me know where is education going? What is the future of education? Is there such a thing as 
VE virtual education <laughs> probably there already is if I google it now I'm gonna find hundreds of articles about it but I want to be there when it actually happens until next time subscribe like share this is Mikna logging out from Bangkok salut